Yeah, I think Mr. Buffett uh, and Berkshire surprised some people here. So the gold miners are really spiking on heavy volume today. Billionaire investor Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway revealed a big bet on Barrick Gold. Van Eck Vector's Gold Miners ETF, that's GDX, up 6%, on pace for its best day in almost four months. We've got two of the best to comment on what's going on here. Dave Nodick is the CIO and Director of Research at ETF Trends. Chris Hempstead is Director of Institutional Business Development at Index IQ. And Dave, uh, a little bit of a surprise here that uh, Berkshire's investment uh, in Barrick, given Mr. Buffett's comments in the past that gold is essentially an unproductive asset. Is this the start of something new? Why, are you seeing investors suddenly starting to get religion about gold and, and gold stocks in particular? Well, gold for sure, for sure has been an ETF story. We've had 734 tons go into gold ETFs just in the first half of this year, which makes the first half of this year better than 2009, which was their annual record. So it's entirely an ETF story. It's worth pointing out that global gold demand in terms of retail, coins, bars, jewelry is actually all really down. So this is being a market being driven entirely by the ETF buyer. And at the same time, we have supply 15% off because we've had disruptions in mining. So we're starting to see more activity in the miners and the junior gold miners as they sort of jockey for position and investors continue to look at gold as a safe haven asset. I particularly like junior gold miners here. I like that idea of having the opportunity to have your company get bought. Uh, so not necessarily the same move that Berkshire's making, but I think we're going to see more activity in yeah. the space. Chris, um, gold is often pushed as a diversification play because it's often uncorrelated uh, with stocks and bonds. What should investors know about investing in gold stocks versus investing in gold? And is there some difference between the junior gold miners and the major gold miners, as Dave was chatting about? I mean, the major difference is, is that when you're investing in the stocks, you're investing with management and you're investing, you're investing with a company that has production facilities. So there are certain risks that go along with with investing in a company, um, which which is oftentimes you know succeeded uh, successful by the by the performance of its managers, whereas physical gold is really just held in a vault. Um, so the ETFs that hold the gold, um, and, you know, have it certified and it's protected in the vault. So you know, depending on why you're buying it, if it's if you're maybe Warren Buffett saw value in the stocks, uh, maybe they've underperformed uh, historically, but now they're really they've outperformed recently relative to physical gold. Um, maybe now's the time to be buying. Um, I'm not sure I, I agree with the initial, you know, chase the Warren Buffett trade immediately. I think there's plenty of time to get in. Um, but it's, it's the major difference is yeah. physical gold okay. sits in a vault and physical uh, gold stock companies are run by managers. So, yeah, Dave, the largest gold ETF, GLD, is now the sixth largest ETF in the United States. That's astonishing. It's got $80 billion in assets. Much of it just happened in the last six months. Is, is there further room for this? Could this be a $100 billion ETF by the end of the year? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, GLD has that sort of name brand recognition because of the ticker, the same way we talk about SPY being the S&P 500, a lot of people look at GLD as being gold. Uh, and, and I don't really see any reason to expect this to go in any other direction. You know, gold still has that safe haven quality people are looking at. We all know we've got a, a tumultuous six months ahead of us. I don't really see anything getting in the way of gold here. Yeah, and yet Mr. Buffett has consistently complained that gold is not a productive asset. It doesn't give you earnings. It doesn't give you dividends. And unlike, uh, of course, bonds, it doesn't throw off any interest payments. And yet you see the interest in that. We've got to let it go there, guys.